By the 1940s, better off farmers had progressed to working their land with tractors. And here Paddy McKenna from Mahara is demonstrating ploughing with a Ford Ferguson 9N. First produced in 1939, this tractor amazed neighbouring farmers with how much ground it could plough in a day compared to the slow method of ploughing with the horses. It wasn't long before they too had purchased one and the days of the horses on farms were soon gone forever. Frank Bigmore is operating with a 1963 Fordson Super Major and a three furrow Ferguson plough. The name Fordson, meaning Ford and Son, took a new turn here in 1945 with the introduction of the first Fordson Major. By all means a modern tractor compared with the slow cumbersome Fordson N. By the late 1940s, the Major was a state-of-the-art powerful tractor with a four-cylinder diesel engine producing 56 horsepower, a high and a low gearbox with six forward and two reverse gears. Between the years 1961 and 1964, Fordson produced the Super Major, similar to the one which Frank is working with here. This tractor had a fuel injection system and the horsepower had now increased to 69. One very important feature was that it was easy to start, even on the coldest mornings. Frank bought this tractor five years ago from Dan McMullen from Risharkin, and turning over three furrows at a time, he would be quite capable of ploughing six acres in a day. In 1957, the Major got a workmate, the Fordson Dexta, a much smaller tractor and possibly to compete with the Ferguson TE20. By this time all sorts of labour saving devices were coming onto the market and farm labourers like the horses on farms were becoming a thing of the past. In 1961 the Fordson Super Dexta was launched as a more powerful addition to the Dexta range. Power output from the three cylinder diesel engine was 39 and a half horsepower. In 1962, by increasing engine revolutions, the engine power output was further increased to 44 and a half horsepower. Another change took place that year, changing the color scheme from blue and orange to blue and white. James Wilson from the Loop is ploughing with a two furrow ransom plough and would be capable in good conditions of ploughing four acres in a day. James bought this tractor from local man Edward Mains. One great benefit that the Dexters had over the TE20s was that they were fast along the road, capable of 25 miles an hour. By the end of March, and with a good spell of dry fine weather, the men are making the final preparations for sowing the oats crop. The ground must be fine and crumbly, and Derek Espy from Cookstown has returned again with his two Clydesdales. The horses are called Davy and Major, and they are finding that pulling the brake is a lot easier work than pulling the plough was a few weeks ago. The brake will be pulled over the ground several times to make sure that all the clods of earth are broken up. This cultivation will only be a few inches deep, as that is all that is required for growing oats. If potatoes were to be grown here, the ground would have had to have been ploughed much deeper, and a disc or grubber would have been needed to cultivate the earth to several more inches in depth. Nowadays, of course, rotavators would be used for that job. Earlier on, James Wilson had the Super Dexta in action again breaking the field several times so the ground is now fine and powdery. In 